Okay, so they've just got started and now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how things are actually going. We don't really have enough data, so all the statistics are fluctuating up and down, so you get really excited about something and then a bit more data it goes away and a bit more it comes back and it's, it's all very tense at the moment, I'd say. Fun. So does it feel like there's a real atmosphere in terms of the, the search for the Higgs closing in? It's, it's really weird because, of course, you're working on this more or less 20 hours a day and it's been gone off for a long time, so it becomes almost routine. And then every now and then you get a meeting like this where it all comes together and people go, no, wait, this is really exciting again, you know, and this is a, one of those moments where people remember why we're here. And, you know. and can we come in? No. <laughs> in fact, the, uh, the guy just said, the BBC are outside, um, be nice to them at the coffee break, tell them what they want to know. And the, the spokesperson was in there and said, no, don't tell them anything. <laughs> so. The intense secrecy was because of the competition between the LHC's different detectors to find the Higgs first, and the provisional nature of the results. What nobody was aware of at the time was that a small blip in the data that Atlas researchers had seen would ultimately turn into something far more significant.